And then in the spirit of 20, uh, 21, I'm not here to hit you with resolutions or, or anything too heavy. I want to talk about some healthy tips for 2021. Um, Who are these tips for? Hmm? Who are these tips for? The first for? one, the first one is, is going to be the last one. I just put, <laughs> I put that there because I was reading it out. We'll talk about the first one later. But I'm actually going to go uh, <laughs> down up. Um, so the first one is talk to someone you trust when you're feeling down. So I shouldn't go to social media when I'm feeling down. Nah, leave, leave. Please don't tweet about it. I shouldn't don't add, I shouldn't don't long a story me. I don't start, start a poll. On don't Instagram. start a poll. Yo, sidebar. Nothing more awkward to me than when couples poll. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Next <laughs> next topic. Um, prepare your food co- correctly. Uh, keep it clean. Separate your your raw and uncooked. Cook thoroughly and keep your food at a safe temperatures. Reason being is like with diseases just flying around, like it's super important to just make sure that at home we're taking care of the things that we take from the outside and make sure that like that, like it's the cleanest it could be. No rotten we, meats. No rotten meat. Oh, y'all sick, nasty. No rotten meats. Um, be active. Oh yeah, love didn't, this. Didn't tell you to work out. I didn't tell you any of that. I just said be active. Not nah, work out. I mean, yeah, but you know what I mean? Like, be active. <laughs> Adults should get at least like 150 minutes of moderate intensity of physical activity each That's week. it? Yo, it's only 30 minutes a only day. Only 30 minutes a day, man. Five days a week. That's only 30 minutes a day, five days a week. <clears throat> On the weekends, you Out can of your 24-hour to... block of each day. So you... 30 minutes out of 20, each 24 hours of every yeah. day. You can make something happen. It's good for you. It stimulates the mind. It um, It's good for your body. It's good for your health. It's good for your blood circulation. And it's good for the people around you because... Like, wow, you're just doing something. And it rubs off. Yeah. On the weekends, you can go back to drinking your white claws and eating buffalo wings. But during <laughs> Who the week- shading? <laughs> Trevor's <laughs> clients be like, dude, had like six white claws this weekend. <laughs> Fucking pounded celery sticks with my wings. Trevor's like, wings? White claws? Yeah, you're not lying. 20 suicides. You be, you be running them up. You're not lying. Yeah, that's that Long Island. That's <laughs> the white claws. <laughs> that's the white claws. They love them shits. They got the new Bud Seltzer now that niggas love. I let it go. I let them all go. <laughs> Every, y'all can have it all. Um, do your preventative health screens. I just set up my dentist appointment for Thursday, starting off the year with the pearly whites. You know how it is. Yeah, I got to do that. Um, but just do all the things that you need for your health. Your mammograms, your prostate screenings, your skin. Like I'm 30 years old. I got to go at some point. Have them check the check, check the check the trunk. Check your prostate. <sighs> I think that's at forty, isn't? It? I think they, I think you get your. I think most people get like that first screening at forty. At forty, but it's like it's, like these are things that we would put on our radar, be alert. Not something I'm looking forward to. Not not <laughs> putting that one off. Um, and then in the spirit of like just a lot of of my friends, shout out to Nick. He gave me the sweatshirt. He's expecting a baby. I have like five friends expecting kids within the next six months. And I saw something dope for the healthy tips for the women. Um. About breastfeeding, that's a choice. Yes, we could, you guys. That, tune that is the- that is that is a choice. I'm not telling you what to do with your body, but I am going to tell you the health benefits of breastfeeding. I feel like that's safe, right? That was safe. It's safe, and I know everybody's tuned in today to hear our thoughts on breastfeeding. <laughs> 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 it's part of the. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was really, really good. With yo, dude, here's why. Here's why. Because everyone tuning in, like, I, like people are tuning in. Their girls are gonna have. They're gonna be breastfeeding. Okay. Fellas, this is the benefits of breastfeeding. And you can talk to your girls about it and do some more research. And you can and just, tell them you heard and then, it from us. And, <laughs> <laughs> Josh and Trev said. <laughs> Josh and Trev also told me. Um, oh boy. But aside mm. from being beneficial to the babies, breastfeeding is also good for the mother as it reduces the risk of breast and ovarian cancer. Cool. That's two things. Mm-hmm. So breast and ovarian cancer. And then um, type 2 di- uh, diabetes. Yeah, that's a killer. And then postpartum depression, which is something that... The reason why that was imp- uh, impressive to me is because postpartum depression is a real thing. It is. Um, and... This is cool. This is cool. This is one thing that can help with it. I don't, I mean, like, as men, sometimes, like, your girl's just like, she just gave a child and you don't know what's going on. And you're just like, never mind. I, I just felt, I just had a very immature thought. I just got, like, a picture in my head of, like, a woman. The president like, no, 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 a baby? No, I have a woman just, like, sitting, a woman that just had a baby just, like, sitting around thinking, like, oh, I'm so sad. And just pulling out her titty and just, like, squirting milk out <laughs> with no baby around just to feel better. <laughs> hey! If it works, don't drink the milk though. If you're, if mad you're like, in the milk. if you're a woman and you're a Knicks fan and you're like have, and you're mad that they're losing, do you just like grab your titty and squeeze the milk out? <laughs> Trevor, 
and feel better about that Knicks loss. Trevor wants to squeeze his titties. I don't. I'm just. I'm just as a I'm Knicks fan thinking. who is suffering from postpartum depression. <laughs> Maybe post game depression. Post game depression. You're just like yo, yo. <laughs> Like Frank Neal Aquila played the entire fourth quarter depression? Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> bad depression, man. Oh, oh, man. Good stuff.